The next uh, endocrine gland that we are taking up is adrenal gland. Adrenal gland is also known as suprarenal gland as it is located on the kidneys. So the names which are given to it are associated with its location. Adrenal that is adjacent to the renal part and suprarenal is again because it is located on the kidney. So if this is the kidney then these glands are located just above it in the form of a slightly triangular structure. So this is the suprarenal gland. Suprarenal gland or adrenal gland is divided uh, internally into two distinct parts. The outer part is known as adrenal cortex and the inner part is known as adrenal medulla. And these two parts differ from each other structurally, functionally as well as origin wise. So we will first compare these two parts and then we will come to the hormones which are secreted by them. So, in the first category, we will write adrenal cortex and here we would take adrenal medulla. And we will compare these two on certain points. Number one, where is it found? Adrenal cortex is outer part or it makes the outer part of the gland. Outer part of the gland whereas adrenal medulla makes the central part of the gland. Not only this, there is a difference in the percentage also like what part is adrenal cortex and how much is adrenal medulla. Adrenal cortex makes about 80% of the total gland whereas Adrenal medulla makes hardly 20% of the gland. So this is, one is outer, one is inner, that is in the central part. The second point is origin. Adrenal cortex is mesodermal in origin. Whereas adrenal medulla is ectodermal in origin. So the origin or the germ layer from which they develop or arise are also different. The third point is differentiation. Adrenal cortex is differentiated into two zones. So differentiation here we would say in three zones. Differentiation is in three zones and these three zones are written as zona glomerulosa the second one is called zona fasciculata and the third one is known as zona reticularis whereas in case of adrenal medulla it is not differentiated into zones. So it is just one mass of cells. Now coming to the type of hormones which they produce. So type of hormones. Now here when we are talking about type, we can change this to nature. Let us talk about nature first. Nature of the hormone. The hormones which are produced by adrenal cortex, they are steroid hormones. Whereas the hormones which are produced by adrenal medulla are amine or amine hormones. Now in the next category, we would talk about the hormones. This is the nature and now we are taking the categories of the hormones. 
the hormones secreted by adrenal cortex they are called adrenocorticoids and adrenocorticoids include three category of hormones one is known as mineralocorticoid the second is known as sex corticoid and third is known as glucocorticoid so these are the categories in which these cortex hormones are classified whereas the adrenal medulla produces adrenaline and noradrenaline so they differ on the basis of the nature of the hormones as well as the further classification and here the hormones are only adrenaline and noradrenaline now coming to the control what is that thing that controls adrenal cortex and the control of adrenal medulla so sixth point i'm writing here adrenal cortex is under the control of ACTH adrenal corticoid stimulating hormone and in case of adrenal medulla it is under the control of sympathetic nervous system so adrenal medulla is controlled by sympathetic whereas here the hormone of pituitary that is ACTH adrenocorticotropic hormone that is the one which stimulates adrenal cortex so there are two distinct parts and when we draw these distinct parts we would be able to understand which hormone is secreted by which part let us draw the section of this adrenal gland the outermost part is covered by a fibrous capsule this is protective and this is called fibrous capsule and its nature is only to protect it it is made up of fibers and that is why fibrous now the next part which is the major part is the adrenal cortex and we have seen that there are three zones so here there are cells which are scattered in the connective tissue this part is the first zone and it is known as zona glomerulosa the next zone has cells again in the form of cords so here the cells are arranged in the form of these long cords and these cords are again scattered in the connective tissue this zone is the middle zone and it is known as zona fasciculata and the third one again there are cells and these cells are little compact and this innermost zone is zona reticularis and this is the complete cortex part that means from here till here all three zones make adrenal cortex and the medulla part is just the central part and it has compactly arranged cells it makes the central part of the gland this is adrenal medulla now let us quickly go over the hormones which are produced so this is the structure there is a capsule a protective cover the cortex part which makes the maximum part of the gland about 80% the inner or the central part makes hardly 20% or even less than that zona glomerulosa secretes the hormones which are known as mineralocorticoids 
the hormones secreted by zona fasciculata are known as glucocorticoids and the hormone secreted by the innermost zone of cortex that is zona reticularis are called sex corticoids whereas the hormones which are coming from the medulla part are adrenaline and not adrenaline so this is how the hormones are going to be secreted and the gland has two distinct parts which are different in everything that means there's a partition their differentiation is also different the origin is also different one is mesodermal one is ectodermal plus function wise also they are different as cortex produces the uh, hormones which are uh, developed or which are formed or synthesized using cholesterol they are all steroid hormones whereas medulla produces the amine hormones now in the next part we will take up all these hormones separately we'll see their functions and hypo and hyper conditions of